People are singing the Egyptian national anthem uh, that came out after the 1952 revolution uh, against King Farouk and British rule. That's what people were just singing now. Uh, this is uh, this is this is like a new day. It's 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 like being born again. It's like being uh, it's like being alive, you know, and actually being alive. That knowing that people have become stronger than these authoritarian regimes and particularly in Egypt that 30 years of repression, 30 years of, of starvation and suffocation by this regime is done and that anything is possible. Uh, how I feel? I can't describe how I feel. It's like a nightmare that lasted for 30 years and finally we're awake. Like, it's like having a new baby. We have a baby born. Egypt is a new baby. And now it's our role to take care of it and make it like a beautiful country with, with all this energy that you can see around you. Just here, plus the people there, we can do miracles. So we're so free. Like, I, I want to fly. Like, I couldn't drive. I couldn't walk. I just feel that I want to I wanna fly. It's, it's, it's such it's a day in history. Actually, it's the most wonderful day in history for us. We never have been happy as today. I, I really can't explain in words like how I feel. It's, it's very emotional. I, uh, my heart is coming out of my chest from happiness. I really, we're so happy. We're extremely happy. I, when I heard the news, I cry because I was very, very happy. I've been waiting for this day, like I said, since 30 years. Since I born, I found the dictator. And not only the dictator, his son wants to be another dictator. So in 17 days, it changed the history of Egypt. History doesn't go back. The history always go forward. So the military can't be like before. Nobody can control Egypt the way before. That's what I learned from history. When I study the history of Egypt, I know that the history goes always forward, doesn't go back. Egypt's future is being extremely bright and extremely hopeful. I mean, even though right now the military is the caretaker of the state at the moment, uh, I don't think people will allow any authoritarian regime to, to go back in. People struggled so much and people lost so much that no one's going to allow this revolution to be lost. And that's what you're actually hearing from Egypt, that our next step is we have to defend the revolution. We have to make sure this revolution carries through. All this fear and talk and sort of power vacuums is not really people's worry because people themselves have the power. There is no power vacuum. The military are, are, are really, uh, if I can use the word, behaving themselves till now. They're acting in the right way, in a disciplined way. They say they'll protect the demands of the people. And as I said, the next step should be that this, the, the presidential control should not stay for long in the hands of the military it should be transferred to a you know a mixed let's say a mixed presidential council of three or five people that way we're on the right track uh, well to tell you the truth of course it's uh, a bit vague okay it's not really clear now uh, but I think uh, because of the youth and because of the people, everyone now is going to try his best to make Egypt, you know, the best. We need a new constitution, we need actually new people, new generation and new blood because they were, uh, sorry, they were so rotten, you know, they were very old and ruling the country for years and years, so it, it was, it was, it was enough. Enough is enough. <laughs> I'm so proud to be an Egyptian. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And I really, I know that, uh, of course, I wish I was in Egypt today, you know, but uh, that's okay. But I'm very happy. <laughs> So we're 
once again in front of the Egyptian consulate at the Thousand Leg Gushitier on this day where the Egyptian President Mubarak has decided to resign. This day is celebrated by Egyptian people as the day of freedom and democracy and it's watched all over the world. I guess the emotions behind me speak for themselves. Egyptians are full of joy and happiness. For CUTV News, I'm Laura Goda. And you'll be able